Hello everyone in this video let us talk about uh, how to create uh, a pie chart to show you the information related to the epics in a next gen project. So there was a question uh, recently on the community about uh, epic pie chart and this question uh, has been asked by Charlie and Charlie is asking about I've tried for a while for uh, I've tried for a, for a while but this might be a limitation of uh, next gen projects I'm trying to do a simple pie chart of epics based on the roadmap of a, of a next gen project so if you look at this question this question is all about uh, uh, creating a pie chart out of uh, the epics in uh, uh, in a next gen project and uh, I thought I'll probably try to do it. I talked about uh, creating reports earlier using a next gen project and right now let us say we have uh, one next gen project which is called creative team. So this particular project uh, is something that I used earlier where I remember creating some uh, epics and these epics are nothing but uh, uh, these are displayed on my uh, on my roadmap so these are the epics that i have in my in in my um, in my roadmap of uh, creative team project and if you look at these epics i have uh, of course uh, some children's or uh, some some children uh, under it which is fine i mean we don't really want to bother about the uh, we don't really want to worry about the children we want to worry about the campaigns which are nothing but my epics so i have four epics in uh, my uh, roadmap so let us see if we can do something with these epics now we can always create our dashboard with our own uh, filter because i just want to focus on epics so why not create uh, maybe a filter so if i go to my um, my issue navigator in Jira uh, I can uh, definitely type in here my JQL so let us start with uh, let us use a simple basic uh, search so I'll first filter on the creative team and then I'll filter on uh, epic and that is it I will I, I can see immediately four epics that are now filtered for me I will uh, save it as uh, my uh, creative teams epics so I'll give it a nice name and then I will uh, go to my dashboard where I can uh, see if I can probably create uh, maybe a new dashboard let us create a new dashboard just to have uh, something clean to start with so I'll create a new dashboard for my uh, creative uh, team project and uh, when I create a new dashboard I will get an option to create a new or add a new gadget so the only gadget that we want to uh, check today is uh, a pie chart and if I remember the question correctly this question uh, doesn't talk about the type of pie chart so this guy Charlie is interested in uh, understanding the epic name and the count so basically a simple pie chart talking about the count so let us create a new let us add a new gadget and uh, here I will use my filter name and my filter name is uh, creative uh, I can't find find my filter creative uh, teams epics so I can find my filter and I want to uh, maybe uh, because he talked about uh, count so I'll probably select my statistic type as issue type and then I will uh, click on the save button and I have my pie chart so this pie chart uh, is fine it looks good but there's no breakup here and I believe uh, if I change my issue type to something else maybe a signee or uh, some other field 
I will get maybe uh, something uh, more interesting, something uh, useful. So let us see, we, do we have anything that we can use here that will probably show us, a, you know, some kind of a breakup. I'm sure you can, uh, because right now all the epics, they are in the same status or this, I mean, they're not really different from each other. Maybe if I uh, click on the epic, or uh, maybe if I probably change the status of one of those epics to something uh, else, maybe I'll uh, just resolve them, close them. So I'll open one of my epic CT1 and uh, I will change the status of this epic to uh, maybe in progress and uh, maybe for my CT2 I will change the status to maybe done. So we have some variation now in the uh, status of these four epics and hopefully this pile chart will uh, give us some Thing more colorful and something that we can definitely analyze so by looking at this pie chart we can see that we have 50 percent of the issues 50 percent of the epics are still in to do state and uh, the remaining are either done or in progress uh, so i'll just read the question here again i've tried for a while but this might be a limitation of an extension project I am trying to do a simple pie chart of epics based on the roadmap. So I think uh, this is something, uh, I mean, I'm not really sure how we can base it on a roadmap because roadmap talks about, uh, I mean, ro roadmap is something that will show you the, the bars or the schedule on a timeline. I, I'm not sure exactly how we can uh, use that on, on, on a bar, on a, pie chart because uh, when you look at the roadmap you have uh, your start date your end date and uh, when you're working on your uh, your pie chart you, are, you don't really have any field that will uh, that will probably show us something about ab about the date but you can definitely create a pie chart and uh, this question was a bit interesting I mean w when I read these questions Sometimes I don't even know the answer because the questions are very simple, but they are something that we, as a consultant, we never really think about. I mean, how, how can we miss something so simple? So this is something that I really never thought about. I never got a chance to play a lot with the reporting of next-gen projects because when it comes to next-gen next projects, you do have some limitations and these limitations are something that we are all aware of i talked about these limitations in a uh, couple of my of my videos but uh, we can definitely create uh, our own custom dashboard with our own custom uh, or we can basically use the existing gadgets that we have apart from the one that comes with the next gen projects and of course those projects uh, those reports that come with uh, next gen projects are definitely um, limited but you're not really limited by those reports. You can always use your own custom dashboard. And uh, this, this is all I wanted to show in this video. And uh, I hope you learned something new today and you enjoyed watching this video. Thank you very much.